Deputy Senator Bill Haggerty joins me now, a member of the Foreign Relations Committee. Mr. Senator, why are Democrats so quick to condemn Israel for attacking terrorists? It's inexplicable except for what you pointed out in the monologue, Stuart. It has to do with Michigan. It has to do with domestic politics. It has to do with them appeasing the far radical left that are Hamas and Hezbollah supporters in their own party. It's shocking to me. It sh should be shocking to every American. We should be standing shoulder to shoulder with our strongest ally in the Middle East instead of launching this criticism. Like, I think Israel has done a lot to expose what really is happening here. You know, the Iranian ambassador to Lebanon had his Hezbollah uh, device exploded as well. That shows how close Iran is working with Hezbollah, yet you can't get the Biden-Harris administration to even say the word Iran. They're appeasing Iran. They've allowed them to go back to full production. Under President Trump, he put the maximum pressure campaign in place. We had choked Iran out. They could no longer fund terrorism. Now they're back in business and they're supporting Hamas, Hezbollah, and the Houthis. They've disrupted the entire Middle East. The Biden administration is complicit in this because they're allowing them to gain hundreds of billions of dollars in revenues that President Trump would have never allowed. It's a stunning development. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, exploding devices. Any device yeah. that's connected to the internet may explode. Is this a new era of warfare? Well, it certainly goes to, to the fact that there is a huge deterrent effect that, that's underway right now. Israel's demonstrated that they're in the supply chains of Hezbollah and the Iranians. Uh, if they can do this, if they can take out the Hamas leader in Tehran, I think they're showing them that they can get to them. And what we need to do is, is, is support them as you said, these terrorists would certainly like to see us dead. They've displaced 60,000 Israelis in northern Israel right now because of over 10,000 rockets that Hezbollah has launched into Israel. Again, you don't hear the Biden-Harris administration complaining about that. You don't hear Democrats on the Hill complaining about that. Somehow that's acceptable to them. But when Israel retaliates, when Israel demonstrates its own strength, uh, the Democrats just uh, j j just become dissembled. It's shocking to me again. The, the FBI has revealed that Iran tried to pass hacked tr documents from the Trump campaign and yes. pass them along to the Biden-Harris campaign. That tells me that Iran is scared of a Trump win and that they, in fact, are supporting ha uh, uh, Harris. What do you say? Well, well it, it, it's very obvious who the Iranians would prefer to see in office, and that's Kamala Harris. And this action just underscores that fact. Look, President Trump stood strong against them. And as I said, he choked the Iranian leadership to a point that they could no longer fund terror in the region. Uh, we were at a point that, that we were about to see Iran come to the table. Peace was breaking out in the Middle East. The historic Abraham Accords would have never been possible were it not for the maximum pressure campaign that President Trump put in place. We would have never been able to move our embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem were it not for President Trump's maximum pressure campaign. And that pressure was directed at Iran because President Trump understood clearly that Iran is the source of all of this, and that's why they're right now trying to help the Harris, uh, you know, the Harris campaign to try to see her stay in office so they can continue their, their, their malcontent in, Senator, the, in the region. Senator Haggerty, thank you very much for being on the show this morning. Always appreciate it. Great to be with you, Stuart. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Back to the market.